Hey guys, it's Haig here. In this video, I'm going to go over my methods that I use to identify malware, viruses, spyware, trojans, or whatever it may be on computers when I fix people's computers. I'm going to show you my techniques and methods that I use to identify a malicious file and how I tell which one's malicious and how I tell which one's safe. So, if you follow along my video, I'm going to show you the way I operate and the way I identify computer files and memory. It's very simple. And uh, we're going to be using a very, very good program to identify background processes called Process Explorer. You can get this off the Sys Internals website. It's a very good program for uh, people that are trying to trying to fix computers like me that have malware on them or something like that. Um, but you can also download this for anyone that just wants to check their memory. So go to the link in my description box and download a copy of Process Explorer. The file is real small and open up Process Explorer. This is kind of like the task manager, but instead it shows all the processes that are in the background. All right, so this is where I identify 90% of background malware. Well, by background malware, I mean malware that's currently running in a process behind the scenes that is actually on the computer in process. All right, and now this is what I look for. The first thing I look for is company name. Now the very first two processes that we see on this list, system idle process, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat that this is a legitimate process for Microsoft. Um, it's part of the operating system. The first three processes are always gonna be are always going to have unknown company names and descriptions, but the first three processes that it says on the list are always not going to be malware related. So, I mean, these are always going to be safe. But what you want to do is you want to look for the under the other company names, and you can see this one's Microsoft Corporation. So, this one's made by Microsoft. So, you know that is safe. You know that every process that you see here that's made by the Microsoft Corporation is safe. Okay? So we see this one, and is this one's by Surf's right? And uh, if you don't know what this is, you can look here under description. This one's Hitman Pro Alert, and I know Hitman Pro Alert is safe because Hitman Pro is part of my uh, anti-malware security program that I use. And here's the icon to Hitman Pro right here on my desktop, so I know that that's an actual safe process. It's protecting my computer actually. So. I would move on down the list, and I mean, all of these ones are, again, from the Microsoft Corporation, so you know that these are absolutely safe. This one is AVAS software, so I know that that's to my AVAS antivirus. And I can tell here, it says description, AVAS serviced, and, uh, well, if I go on my desktop, it's to my AVAS antivirus, so I know that is a natural safe process. So I'm going to continue searching down the list, and what you're looking for is you're looking for something that's uh, got an unknown company name or an unknown description name like this one right here this one has an unknown description name it also has an unknown company name from at this point what I would do is I'll go and I'll look at the actual executable file all right and I would right click on that and I would do a search online what that would do is it will pull up our browser and it will do a, a Google search for that process actual the actual process so right click Search online, opens up Internet Explorer, and uh, let's open up this one. If it uh, and it says here, if I'm reading along, it says it's do a VMware workstation server. Now I know that VMware workstation is safe on my computer, so uh, VMware workstation is right here. It's a program that I use to actually uh, install multiple Windows operating systems off my desktop. So from there. I've already diagnosed that this process that's running here is safe. So I can dismiss this and I can continue looking down the list here. And I'm going to continue to look for something that has an unknown company name or an unknown description name. So all of these ones are still from, again, Microsoft Corporation. Uh, this one is from uh, this one right here. Uh, let's see. This one has uh, capital letters and underscore and uh this one may be a different one, but if you if you move your mouse over, you can see, and you can if you right click on it, you can go into properties and pull up more information about this, and you go into the image, 
you can see the actual location it's installed to the actual registry key um, at this point if you're not sure what this is you can do a Google search for it so I'm gonna just do a Google search for it once again right click on it search Google open it open it up and it will tell you when it's a malicious process or not so I can see it's to my Wi-Fi driver by looking up this it basically says here that this is a I mean, you may want to look at more than one website because it could be a, uh, it could be a, uh, this one website says it's fine, one website says it's safe, but uh, all right, here we go. I can see here and I'm, that uh, this is um, an actual. Uh, I'm, I'm just reading along now I can see here there we go this process that we were seeing it actually is actual it actually belongs to my Wi-Fi adapter I mean it's the actual uh, thing that enables Wi-Fi connection to my computer so I know that this is a safe process but uh, what you want to do is you just want to look for something that you don't know particularly one that has an unknown company name those are 90% of the times the ones that are malicious. Okay, so on to uh, some other methods that I use to identify malware on a computer. Is I look under when the uh, system configuration utility, and that gives you the list of applications that run when Windows starts behind the scenes. Okay, so to open up the Windows system configuration utility on any Windows computers, you're going to hit the Windows key and you're going to hit the R key at the same time, and you're going to right into this run dialog box msc config and click enter and this is going to pull up system configuration and then you're going to click startup it's the exact same process in here you're going to go under a manufacturer you're going to look for an unknown manufacturer name right off the bat we see a process that's unknown manufacturer so from this point we're going to know that this is a pretty suspicious file because it's got an unknown manufacturer name mostly more, more of the safe programs again they will have an actual manufacturer name and you can tell which one's which by reading the manufacturer name and at this point we would look under this location but I've actually this is an actual malware process now right, that I'm that we're looking at but I've removed it so uh, just, there's no actual file it doesn't even exist on my computer anymore but the entry is still here so uh, if you were to see an unknown one uncheck that all right now continue going down the list of processes maybe expand these look at the actual pro the actual directory that these are installed to you can see this is part of malware bytes this one you can see this that one's again it's part of my AVS software you can see this is part of my c cleaning utility which i already know is safe um basically go down the list what you're looking for is something that's in app data local temp and if it's anything like this here's one here's an example but this one is weather eye and you can see it's from the weather network the it's an application that I use to uh, check weather. So uh, right off the bat, I know it's safe. Again, here's uTorrent. Now I know uTorrent safe because I use uTorrent to uh, download torrents. Again, it's in the actual app data folder. You can see users app data. But what you're looking for is something app data local temp. Normally, if there's in the temp folder, it's malware because nothing should be running from the temp folder, and nothing should be running that has an unknown name, unknown company name, or unknown manufacturer name. Sometimes you just get a box and it will have nothing on it. Then it's definitely malware. So uh, these are just some of the things that you want to be looking out for when you're on your computer and you're trying to search up what's safe, what's not safe. These are the general ways that I go about it. And if I find something, I uncheck it and I click apply. And that will... Uh, Disable that process from auto starting when you boot your computer up. All right, let's look a little deeper now. Let's check to see if we have any processes running when Windows starts in the, in the Windows registry. So let's go into the registry now and check the registry out. 
to get to the Windows registry, hit the Windows key, hit R. Sorry. And write in regedit. You're going to navigate. For most of you, it's going to look like this. Hang on, because I've already been in the registry before. Let me just... So when you when you first pull up the registry editor, you're going to have these folders here. You're going to come in and you're going to expand H key current users. You're then going to come in and expand the softwares folder. You're going to look for a folder ma named Microsoft. You're going to expand it. Then you're going to go look for a folder named Windows and expand that next. There's the Windows folder. We're going to expand that one by clicking on it. You will expand current version. You're going to look for, under current version. You're going to look for run. And you're going to look for run once. Under run, same kind of concept here. Maybe make this bigger. And you can see this one has CCleaner. Now I know CCleaner is an actual, once again, that's belonging to CCleaner, which is a safe program, which I use to clean my computer and keep it up to, up to speed. So I know that this registry key is safe. I can now go on and look at other registry keys that may be existing in this area here. And I could see the actual pro the path to the actual file, but we already know that the CCleaner application is safe. And then I would look under run once, and now there's nothing under here. So I would exit the registry, and I we would say that this computer has nothing wrong with it. This computer has got no malware. And uh, what we would do is we would just finish off by running a scan of ADW Cleaner and then along with Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. These are two free softwares that you can download to remove any kind of malware off your computer for free. And they do a damn good job at it. And uh, I would recommend anybody that wants to check if their computer is infected to run ADW Cleaner and then run Malwarebytes and download a copy of these two programs. Do a Google search for ADW Cleaner. You'll come up for a free download. Do a Google search for Malwarebytes and you'll come up with a free download. Uh, run your run a scan of these two programs. I'm not going to do it. And uh, if you have any malware on the computer, it will remove it for you for free. So I hope this helps you guys identify malware on the computer, what to look out for, to refresh your guys' memory. It's actually very simple. What we're looking for is a, something that has an unknown manufacturer or an unknown company name running in a process. You also want to be looking for something that's running from the users app data local temp folder that's probably something that has malware related on it you're also looking for some dodgy executable file name or something that looks suspicious all right those are the main concepts to identify malware on a computer it may sound complicated at first but when you really get to know what you're doing it's it's very easy to to pull up a process explorer and you can you can literally it takes one minute for you to determine whether there's a virus on the computer or not. I mean, it's so simple once you get the hang of it. And uh, from there, you can start removing all kinds of malware. If you like my video, I hope this has helped you identify viruses, spyware, and malware on your system. Please remember to comment, write, and subscribe.